Okay, here's a look at my Trek Speed Concept 9 series bar with the custom extension clamp that I made for it. So I've got one installed and I'm going to install the other one just to demonstrate how it works. Um, as you can see here, it works a lot like the felt Devox bars. There are two bolts um, that start from the underside of the bar and go through. That's part of the native Speed Concept hardware. But what I've changed is that I'm also using it to bolt down the arm cups and those same bolts pinch this custom piece of hardware and secure the extensions in place. So, uh, before I get started, it's important to note that the arm cups for the speed concept have to be modified just a little bit in order to work. So here is one of the original arm clamps, and you can see arm cups, I'm sorry, and you can see that these holes are just slightly larger than these. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. They're also longer, but that's normal. So this is a normal hole, and this is that same hole just enlarged very slightly to accommodate the M6 bolts. Um, a one quarter inch drill bit was all that was needed to, to open those up and it went through real easy because these are almost a quarter inch already, but they need to be opened up just slightly. So with that out of the way, this is how they install. The, uh, the piece fits right here. It's shaped exactly like the uh, stock hardware. So you can see it has a little lip um, right there so that um, the speed concepts and native spacers will fit right on it and the bottom it has the same lip so that it will fit into um, either another spacer or just the bottom of the bar. The other piece with these that I made was this uh, top cap part. The idea of this top cap part is that whatever spacer is your last one, if it's this or one of the native spacers, you put this on top before the arm cups. Um, which will just give them a little bit more purchase against here so that this rim isn't digging into the arm cups themselves. It may not be necessary uh, depending on how tough your cups are, depending on exactly how they're shaped. Um, I don't think it's strictly necessary with the Speed Concept stock arm cups, but uh, it's good to have anyway and just as a safety measure. Okay, so here's the installation. We start by putting the bolts, the nuts back in there. Then this guy goes right on top, and then the arm cup, and then the arm cup and bolts, and make sure you have a washer with each of those bolts to make sure you're reducing stress on the cups. These cups are only rated for these cups are only rated for two newton meters of force each. Um, it's going to take more than that to clamp everything down tight. I ended up going to more like six newton meters on each of these, and they hold up, but... Okay, so both of those uh, clamps are installed now. The beauty of this system is that because these four bolts are the only bolts for the whole bar, you don't have to move anything when you're adjusting your extensions. You just install your extensions straight in, adjust the length and the roll and whatever, and then bolt everything down, it works perfectly. Okay, so these are all installed now, and you can see that once they're installed, the gap in that little pinch mechanism closes pretty much all the way. There's a teeny tiny gap, uh, there it is, right there, uh, but it's good, it's better to have that tolerance a little bit. Anyway, this makes for a real nice, clean appearance, there's almost nothing there. Um, a lot cleaner than the stock hardware, um, definitely a lot lighter. I think a lot less clunky and uh, it actually allows for more adjustment in terms of stack height. You can adjust the extension stack height independently of the arm pads because you can use spacers above this clamp or below it. So pretty slick and that's all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.